Protesters tried to shout down senators today as they passed Florida's strictest abortion ban to date. The bill expands the state's current 15-week ban to six weeks. News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has the details in Tallahassee. The protest didn't last long in the chamber behind me, and shortly after everyone was kicked out of the gallery, senators passed that six-week abortion ban. Defend the right to abortion. We won't go back. From outside the Capitol. Taking away choice is an act of violence to inside the Senate chamber. Dozen shouted from the gallery at senators as they debated reducing Florida's current 15 week abortion ban to six weeks. People will die. I'm going to clear the entire gallery. Republicans followed through with that threat, passing the bill with only two GOP defections. So the bill passes. The bill sponsor applauded the victory for those opposed to abortion. For 50 years, the killing of innocent children has been legal. Legal does not equate to right. The bill also creates a new exception for human trafficking, adding it to the list of exceptions for victims of rape and incest up to 15 weeks of pregnancy. Despite the addition, Democrats still disapprove. If you vote for this ban, things will get worse. Women will get sick. Women will be permanently disabled. Women will face medical bankruptcy. Women will die. It is a cruel and inhumane bill for the, the women of Florida. If this bill gets the governor's signature, it would still be contingent on a case playing out in Florida's Supreme Court against the current 15-week ban. The next step here is for the House to pass its version of the bill and then the governor to sign it. But even if it does get the governor's signature, it'll have to make its way through the Florida Supreme Court first. That's all from the Capitol. I'm Libby Dean. Eight on your side.